So this is another example of a triangle, uh, but this time around we got two sides and an angle. Okay, so again, read for the information and you might want to do a rough sketch first. Okay, so the first piece of information is DE. So I will usually start off with the first piece of information. Okay, and then I got EF to be five centimeter. So this will be the five centimeter arc that starts either from E or F. But because I already got E, so I should make my arc from, I should do a five centimeter arc later on, on E. So I should have a five centimeter arc. Okay, but this, if you look at the angle DEF, so this is a 64. So by right, I should measure a 64 first. So I should measure a 64 first, then I have the five centimeter up. Okay, then after that, I can join that up. So that will become my triangle. Okay, and again, they ask you to measure the length of DEF. So the measuring is to make sure that you do check your accuracy. Okay, after that, we got the angle bisector. Okay, which angle are we bisecting? Let me show, which angle are we cutting into half? So it's F, D, E, this is the angle. So later on, I'm cutting it into half like this. Okay. So for this, right, some of you, some people, they are very stingy with their angle bisector. So don't be stingy. Make sure your angle bisector cut through. Cut through the whole diagram. So, and the description is it will cut EF at H. So this is the H. And again, you'll be asked to measure EH. So all the measuring are meant to check your accuracy. Okay, so have a rough sketch first, then you can proceed to the actual drawing. So let's look at the actual drawing. So I will be starting with DE. then I should measure my 64 degree first. So you are going to put your protractor here. Okay, really go and check that you got a 64. Okay, you know, if you got a 64, you will do a pencil mark. You will somewhere put a pencil mark. All right, so if you got a 64 on your protractor, then you will put a 64 mark. Okay, so go and do that. So when you do this, after you get the 64 mark, right, in this case, because you already got the 64 mark, you can put the ruler, you can use your ruler and measure exactly five centimeter. So in this case, right, you can choose to do without the arm. Because the arc is meant where you don't know where is your seven, seven centimeter or whatever. Here is a 64. You already gotten the 64. And I need exactly five centimeter. So you can just use your ruler and measure. And then this will be your triangle. So this will be your triangle. And then uh, in this case, you need to measure. So you put your ruler there and you measure your uh, DF. So again, the value of DF is meant for your teacher to check your accuracy. So in this case, the answer is around 6.6. .6. So it's around 6.6 .6 centimeter. So if you get a little bit of like 6.7 or 6.5, I think that's fine. 
So too much of means you're not accurate. Again, where can the inaccuracy come from? Maybe you measure your 64 degree as a 63 degree. Or your seven centimeter is actually not very seven centimeter. So even if you off the little bit by 0 0.1, everything will add on. After that, we're going to do the angle bisector. So we're going to bisect FDE. So in case you bisect the wrong angle, you'll be good if you put a notation there. So do you recall the steps of the two steps of perpendicular bisector? Uh, sorry, angle bisector. So you gotta make two little up first. So your compass will be the small up. So make two small up with the compass. Then you adjust the compass. You adjust the compass and then um you uh you make it a little bit bigger. So you'll be something like then you okay, you adjust the compass to make it a little bit bigger. Then you put your sharp edge here. So you will get an arc here. You put your sharp edge here. You will also get your arc here. Okay, so but if you want to, I think that's sufficient. Then from here, you join them. So that will be your angle bisector. So please go and indicate that this is the answer for part two. And then follow the instruction. This will be the F, oh, sorry, H. And then you should go and measure this length. Put your ruler there, then you go and measure. So the answer is around 2.6 centimeter. If you are not too off from 2.6 centimeter, then you are quite accurate. Okay, so mine is not very accurate. I'm just drawing a bit freehand. I'm just describing to you. Okay. So the if you read the steps here, they they actually use the they actually use the compass to get the five centimeter. So if you use a compass to get the five centimeter, then you will have one up, a five centimeter up. Okay, so uh, you can give it a try and see how accurate you are.